Somewhere over the rainbow. So I have a capo third fret, which makes a couple of the stretches a little bit easier in this song, and also puts it in the key of the original from the movie The Wizard of Oz. And this is my own custom fingerstyle arrangement based on that version. The easier chords and melody version is just up here and I think it's a good idea to work through that first because everything is the same uh, in this version but what we're adding is essentially this little finger style pattern which I name inside out and that is how it's commonly known And that would be on the on the G chord which begins this song um, to begin with we're going to move this pattern one string up which we would not commonly do but in this situation we need the melody there and uh, the tab as always is available on the website and it also includes the tab for the easier version as well just the chords and the melody but this first bar goes like this So we have somewhere and um, the melody somewhere is the octave of that G note, open G string to the highest, starting off with a finger style G to a normal E minor with the little finger on the thinnest string here, a third fret. And we would start with the middle finger and thumb together. Thumb and first thing, thumb and middle finger together. First finger on string four, thumb on string five, to first finger. If you're very new at this and want to really persevere and do it, I highly recommend just repeating this pattern or researching more about this inside-out fingerstyle pattern, which I really think. Well, it was the pattern that gave me my breakthrough with fingerstyle guitar. So after that first four notes, we have the E minor with the little finger here. And all we're going to play, thickest and thinnest string together. And then first finger on string four, thumb on string five. So it's the same as... Same thing there. Bar two, things get a little bit more interesting. We're going to do a strum with the first finger and play a partial B minor chord. So a B minor, but rather than barring, because we're going to need to play the melody and lift this finger off, uh, I've chosen to do it just without the bar, just with the thinnest uh, first finger on the thinnest string, and then essentially playing an A minor shape with our three weaker fingers. And then the melody is played by the thinnest two strings. So we start off with our third finger here. And that melody. Two, zero, three, zero. And then with the chord down. finish we're going to play a G7 chord absolutely adore that move I just I just think it's beautiful so that B minor technically a B minor with an F sharp in the bass to this strum of a C of a G7 with again without the bass, so we're doing the seventh here. So this would be an normal G. Just move that middle finger to here to the uh, third fret of the fourth string. And if you can get this far, that is the first two bars. And essentially, for most of this song, is only eight bars long. After that, there's a lot of repetition. So let's recap these first two bars and really make sure we're getting them solid. And then from there. 
you know, you're a quarter of the way through this entire thing, really, because, you know, there's a section B to it, but the most recognizable bit is this section A, which is only two lines long on the tab that we're working from here. So to recap from the top, two, three, four. Drum of the B minor. A small strum of a C chord, then on bar three. Again, that inside out pattern. Or just the thumb first finger pattern. pluck of the thumb and the third finger bar three in total staying on the C chord strum first thumb first plucking the root and the thinnest string and then we move back to a G chord and we could just strum the G chord but I've made it a little bit trickier to mimic the Judy Garland original. So we have... So we have essentially a G sus 2 with the first finger here, which is why we play this, what I can name a finger style G. So we've got that first finger free to play melodies. And here, second fret of the third string to the open, little finger to make a little G7, back to that open string, and that is the entire first line, so those uh, bars three and four from the C chord, a little strum, bar four, And let's have a look at that top line all together, see if we can thread it through, and then we'll move on to the second half of this, what is the majority of the song. This is the main sequence. It's repeated three times, and it could repeat more if you wanted to make it longer. Let's have a look at the top then, where we're starting on the finger style G. No need for the little finger, like the rock hand G, I could call it, but uh, we're going to be starting off with this. Okay. From the very top, from bar one, two, three, four. To the C chord at bar three. And essentially just a G chord, fingerstyle G, but to add a little extra. And that is the first line of this arrangement. Now we're moving on to the second line from bar five, and we're going to start on a C chord, and then move to um, a way that I found to do, rather than a C minor chord, which would be the chord in the song, but Moving from here, uh, the, the melody note, it, it didn't sound what I, it didn't sound like the sound I wanted to go for. And we have this easier, easier way, which um, gives us all the notes that we need and the melody notes. So we have, there's a. So this is uh, middle finger at the first fret of the second string, and first finger also at the first fret, but of the fourth string. And you just play strings two, three and four and that really works to give us that C minor technically it's a C minor slash E flat because this is an E flat so we have an E flat in the bass that's what the slash means it's the chord and slash the root note C minor chord slash E flat which is the root note and the just gives us exactly what we need 
um, there. And then we add the inside out pattern. Strum. This. Again, that first finger, thumb, first finger. Um, we'll move the thumb up there. So thumb and middle finger. First, thumb, first. This. Uh, one more time. Strum a G for bar six. Land that I E minor. And then the melody finishes on that C note first fret. Land that I heard of. swapping the fingering I do when I do that with the uh, picking hand. Let me try and remember which way to do it. Yeah, so I would say thumb, first, first, another strum, first, middle. Bar six. And to recap bars five and six together, again, we'll, we'll go through one bar, then the next bar, and then put them together. And then essentially, once you've got those kind of ticking, move on is the best idea and get, get through the piece. Rather than always going for the, from the start of the song when you're practicing, it's a really bad idea. Don't go from the start of the song every time. Otherwise, you'll do that first bar really well and get so much practice for that. And then when you get to bar four and five and six, you know, you never play those as often because you're always beginning from the start again. So don't make that mistake. One bar, next bar, get those nailed, forget about it, move on. Bar three, bar four, as a pair, forget about it, and then do one, two, three, four all the way through. Now we're on bar five and six, we've got bar five, we get bar six, we get them together, and then we've got to move on from them, okay? You've, you've got to try and get through if this is the right level for you. You've got to try and get through it. So um, bars five and six as a recap, as I say, you go through, work through this tab and this video with that method, you will nail this. It may take a little while, but you will absolutely nail it rather than making all your, uh, making the first two bars and getting a lot of practice with them and a lot of success and then struggling further through the piece. Bar five. C minor chord that I've sort of created. Bar six. Thumb. E minor. Okay, so we're moving on and we'll get seven and eight together. Bar seven. Here I've got a little slide from uh, two that with the middle finger to four. Which together, if I pause there, there's a bit of tension there and it doesn't sound nice, but in context... I really like the sound of that. A minor, so bar 7, A minor, sliding and playing string 4 and 3 together, so the open string. Just the open 3rd string on its own, the G. Then a little D power chord. The open string and uh, the third string together, strings four and three. Then the middle finger, play the open third string. Let me adjust that capo to get it ringing out better. There we go. And then we'd strum the G uh, bar nine just to finish off that sequence or that, or that section. So bar seven, three, Four, strum, the A minor. And then we're filling out, you could fill out the rest of that bar as with my Beauty and the Beast tutorial. Just thumb and first finger. <clears throat> bar nine, 
but um, let's continue and, and make sure, I just, let's go back a second and make sure we've got bars five to the start of bar eight, solid, using the same manner that we've, uh, we've looked at already. So this would be, there's a land that I heard of once in a lullaby. Okay, from there, from that C, there's two, three, and then to fill out the rest of bar eight could just be that if you want to make it a bit easier but I did steal a move from Eva Cassidy from her version of Somewhere Over the Radio which goes like this Also kind of nick from Blackbird. So that second. Beautiful move used in so many fingerstyle songs. That would finish off once in a lullaby. And then that repeat mark says that we go back to the stop and uh, back to the top and do the whole thing again from the top, but we would finish, rather than finishing on bar 8, we would finish on bar 9, which is shown by that little number 2 above the bar, which is where the repeat mark would go for. So we, we would um, play bars 1 to 8, and then plays what, play 1, and then play bars 1 to 7, and then go from 9. So we miss bar 8 on the repetition. So we would go on the repetition. So... Skies are blue. And then the second line. And the dreams that you dare to dream really do come true is bar nine. So we didn't play bar eight, then I played one to seven and then went straight to nine. Which finishes? And then that would be Someday I wish upon and That's from bar 9, 10, 11 and so on But that bars 1 to 8 Is everything in this piece So let me just play all of that One more time And I'm going to go really slowly So that you can see every little join It's always the joins It's always the end of the bar to the next one On the chord change Especially with finger style that are the challenging parts. So let's go from the top, and this time we're going to get bars 1 to 7, and then go straight to bar 9, and make sure that's really solid. And if it is, then the rest of this piece, there's a couple of challenging bits, but you've already got the first half of it. You've already got the recognisable part. It's so important. So we'll go from the top really slowly, but remember, the joins are always going to be trickier it's understandable and persevere with it and you will get it. So, from the start, but we're going from the second repetition. E minor. Strum. C minor Bar 9 And we can go from bar 10 So bar 10 Goes like this Okay, and we have the melody on the little finger going down at the third fret of the second string, finger style G, and to make it easier you could just play that melody with the middle finger on its own, and just play the thumb on the root note every beat. So it's one and two and three and four and... 
That would be the easiest way to do it. If you can do that, it's not too much harder to just add the first finger in as well. Thumb, thumb, okay? But in accordance with the next step up with, with finger style playing after the inside out, we're gonna alternate the thumb to string four. Okay? That would be bar 10. A minor 7, so A minor without the third finger. And same melody on the little finger. Again, easier if you don't alternate the thumb. Ideally, moving down a string. And bar 10 and 11 together. Strumming a G6 would be the start of bar 12. G6 is just the normal G without uh, the little finger on, without this note here basically. Sounds very Beatles. It's how the Beatles end every song. <laughs> um, and inside out again. And that would take us to the start of bar 13, where it would be an A minor to a D sus4 to D normal. And bar 12, back to the G6. G with the third finger here, so on string 2. And then A minor 7. Side out pattern again, and then D sus4, normal D. When, and then to move on to uh, bar 14. When troubles melt like lemon drops. Oh, now we have an A major, but we're not actually playing this middle string, this third string. So we could just do it like this, which is easier and more in accordance with the other chord shapes we've been using, and go like this. There's our melody, and thumb, just alternating on the A. And then we're on a B minor, F sharp augmented, we'll get on to augmented chords in another lesson, I think this is complex enough. Um, e minor over A is a hell of a stretch. So if you don't like this chord, the E minor over A at bar 17, you could swap it for an A7 without the third finger, but that is at fifth fret and second fret. And then again, a D, so it's four, it's a normal D at the end of bar 17. So from bar 14, where troubles melt like lemon drops Essentially an A7 Oh, A above the chimney tops B minor Swapping Middle finger moves up This fingering is the, the best ability I don't think this way is the way to go I really think that Is the way to go Little finger if you want to stay true A7 if you want to do an easier one And then some, you'd we'd be back to the top essentially on the second page, which is where that tab would be, bar 18. It's essentially the same as the start again. So let's cover that final line of the first page, bars uh, 14 to at the end of 17. Where troubles melt like lemon drops away above the chimney tops, that's where. with the inside out pattern. One 
one more time without me singing in case you couldn't hear anything. And then we return, we're going to go from bar 18 from now, but it is the exact same as the first two lines of the song um, that, that is tabbed. So here we would go. Somewhere. G7. C. little bluebirds fly if so that that last bar I just played bar 25 is exactly the same as bar 9 so the bars 1 to 9 and therefore the first 15 minutes of the video this video you're watching is so important if you haven't got anything down I truly believe everything you need to work through is in there but you will need some skills under your belt and those skills will be taught in my fingerstyle course. This is an ideal progression on from that, from my fingerstyle DVD and download. It's only available as a premium course and everything is there. And we've got a few similar fingerstyle tutorials to this one as well up on the site now. Blackbird, uh, Beauty and the Beast, uh, they're ideal to accompany this. So from bar 25, which is essentially the last line of the song, we have a strum of the G. We've done that before in bar 9. Then bar 26 is the same as bar 10. If happy little, if happy little bluebirds fly over. Bar 27 is the same again until. That's essentially a partial D7. And we strum a G. And in my performance of this, my performance video, I return to the inside out pattern and then we tap here. At the 15th fret and hovering over, making sure you tap on the fret itself, just here. This is 15th fret. This has a dot on it. And that should give us. I really love the ending to this song and that is every section to this song as I say all the meaty bits are all in that first uh, 15 minutes of this video don't be afraid or let down if you have to re-watch or or mark points in this video where you're going to be coming back to you know mark times write you know print this tab write a write a note on it to to circle where you're having trouble and then go back to points in this video where we cover it again but that is how to play somewhere over the radio thing but that is how to play my but that is how to play my arrangement of somewhere over the rainbow thank you so much for watching please subscribe if you haven't already check out my fingerstyle course available at andyguitar.co.uk and you can learn more about that by clicking the links on the screen now